Hello friends, my name is Hamid. I am working on this Fisher Pickle uh, tablet washing machine. The customers complain is it's leaking water and I'll show you today how to find the leak and how to fix it. So this is the Fisher Pickle washer as you can see. The model number is located right here. The model number is IWL16 and in order to order parts you need your product code. So when the customer complains that the washer is leaking, the first thing I check is my hoses that comes to the back of the washer and also on the wall. I check my drainage to make sure it's not overfilling. I check my drain pump to make sure I don't have any cracks. And then the last thing, the, the other part I want to do is I push the, push the washer a little bit up. On these washers you can also get water leakage from the drain pump this is your drain pump right here i do not see any drain uh, any leakage from the drain pumps it seems okay this water leakage that's coming out all the way straight from the top right there up of course you check your drain hose again if there's no leakage from the drain hose from the transmission motor from the motor from drain pump then if there is no um leakage from anywhere from the bottom what you can do is you need to open your washer apart so before i do that uh, there's one screw here one screw here you need a flat screwdriver or just a, a hook stick it right here lift it up the same thing here this comes out. We got one screw here, another screw here. Once the screws are out, put these back in so that way your screws are safe and they're not gonna, you're not going to lose anything. So put these back in, no problem. And left out the whole top like this now while the washer is open from the top we can run it and see how it goes where the leak is coming from okay i have the washer ready i'm gonna turn it on now So lift it up a little bit once it starts filling after that lift it more up and keep eye on the circulation hose this is your circulation hose and you're gonna see it's gonna leak from there Of course you check your pressure hose you see that glassy looking hose that's your pressure hose to make sure it's also not leaking from there if you check everything even your water solenoid valve it's not leaking from there it's not leaking from this uh, part where the water shoots into the washer so, Okay. I'll unplug it. Okay, so on these units, if you didn't find a, an actual leak where it's uh, there's a crack on something, or it's over, uh, or there's a crack or there's a damage on something, if you don't find any of those, there is nothing else except your main control board. I have the main control board in hand. Actually, it's at the bottom of my camera and i'm going to replace that and that takes care of the problem because what's happening right now the washer is filling more water than expected uh, usually on old washers with a different brand if it's overfilling and causing the leak 
it's your pressure switch but on this unit we do not have any pressure switch uh, everything is being controlled by the main control board so they got rid of the pressure switch and they added the new control board the pressure of the water is controlled by the main control board which is located up top here and i'll show you how to replace the control board here of course you're going to unplug it first and then at the back there's one screw here there's another screw here and i will also show you the way this control panel comes out how it looks and how it gets installed you see the plastic right here there's one plastic at the center right there and then of course there's one plastic right there so let me pull this out again so the way the control panel is once you take these two screws off put your hands at the back and pry it back and forth and pull it out like this the first thing you want to do is uh, disconnect this guy uh, here, this cable. In order to disconnect it, you press on this little small tiny tab here, and then pull this out. This part is out. And now the control board is here. In order to pull the control board out, please do yourself a favor take a picture take a picture of this area take a picture from that area one picture from here take lots of pictures and then once you took all your pictures the first thing you want to do is disconnect your pressure hose of course the washer is unplugged at this moment now disconnect this disconnect that this one On the side, we got the same tabs. You can press on them, pull the electrical wire out. Okay, so everything is disconnected at this moment. What I'm gonna do here is you see how it looks in here right there uh, you need to pick it up from there or you can use a flat screwdriver driver right there uh, stick a flat screwdriver lift it up and then if you look from the back it's held by this tab and that tab hold it push it back push it back your main control board is out here's the new control board the port number is 421306 USB that's the new control board when you open this new control board it comes with at least three paperworks that shows you how to uh, go through diagnostic and do this and that uh, to do the reprogramming of the control board let's ignore this because i know how to do this and your control board on the new box comes with a tiny uh, fuse it's a aftermarket fuse that they added recently in the last couple of years it's a 15 amp fuse because Every time the, the the drain pump leaked on these units in the past, it blew all the control, also the control board. So, uh, in order to uh, keep the washer safe, they added this extra fuse, uh, which you need to replace, and of course the new control board. And I'll, I'm going to install it and show you how it looks.
now we have this control board the pressure switch side stays on on your right left hand side if you're standing at the back do not add it here go like this i know it's simple and easy but i'm just saying uh, what you can do is add your wires on this side first the orange wire and the gray water valve solenoid valve you you also check for leakage in this area if you're getting leakage so make sure you don't forget this um <clears throat> this water valve hot and cold it says h slash c hot and cold your main wire your ground this green one is the ground that's from the water solenoid valve and then there's another ground so this side is good now <clears throat> one once you put that side uh, you hold it up the board so you can add this one and this pen these plastics you can set it right here straight one goes here another one goes right here it sits right there the rest of your wires that's for your motor this is for your drain pump do not add this drain pump now so let's leave it for last this is for the motor this is for your LED switch it also says LED and then this is also part of the water valve solenoid install it and install your pressure hose organize it properly You also want to make sure everything sets okay here properly the rest you can just add your lines like that organize it looks nice and now here's the time we have to replace our fuse so this from the drain pump gets hooked in here and this one goes here You. now you have to point find a place where you can put this safely without damaging it when you put the control panel back in also double check your fuse to make sure it's not missing and if you're going outside of the city to do this please check this fuse for continuity i know you checked that it's there but check it for continuity because if you get a recall back outside of the city, you're not going to be happy. So do everything as safe as possible. I don't know if I have enough space here, but here, just add it right here. This one should be 
Okay, just like that. And if you remember, I'll show you this. Gets inserted right inside of that hole. Let me show you. See this? They go right there. Right there. And there's another one right here. One goes at the center. So line it up. You want to check it from in, from inside too. Make sure it sets good. When you turn on the washer, you press the fabric here, hold it, and then press the start for a couple of seconds, uh, like this, actually. So once you plug it in, press this fabric here, press power after that, after within four seconds, this shows up. And then this model is 650. Media model is 500, 600, 560 is this, the small one. Um, by going here you can adjust it so usually you don't have any option but you keep pressing this 650 is the model on this one look at it the way it looks and then just go off after that you don't have to confirm it or do anything press it off it saves itself and then your washer is ready to go turn it back on run a cycle Now I'll look we'll check for water leakage here. The water leakage was coming from here before. When I replace the control board, I'm running it and see how it goes. It's Once you replace the control board, everything seems okay. Plug it back in, start the unit. Now, if you don't reprogram the washer, the moment you go to spin a, uh, to select a cycle, it's gonna fault out. So, for example, let's go on um, on any of the cycles you want, like ready to wash normal start. The washer is telling you I need service, fault code 9, please call for service. So this happens if you don't know how to reprogram it, or if you forgot to reprogram it. Unplug the unit for a couple of seconds, plug it back in. 
uh, turn it off, press fabric here, hold it and then power, hold it for four seconds. So within four seconds, it usually happens right away, but I, it tells you on that sheet, four seconds. Um, so in here, on this model, looking at the switches and the way these units are, this is the large size. It's not a medium. Uh, you're gonna select. So from these buttons, you can go back and forth uh, from this one. Select the 650 and then power off. When you select it and you want power off, it automatically uh, saves that system here and then you're good. Uh, it reprograms it and saves it and confirms it. And then you can use your washer after that. Let's start. I still did not put the top on, so because I want to test it. Do not lift it up too much because if you do it's gonna leak water. So now the, the water is stopped. I see it was filling from here. Now we are gonna keep eye on here again. The moment that it starts the spring. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share it with others. Thank you. Uh, hello friends. Um, I forgot to mention this. Uh, when I was um, going through uh, editing my video to post it on YouTube, I realized that what I did, when I reprogrammed the, water, the new control board on this washer, and I ran the washer, it was still leaking water. I was like, how is it possible? I just replaced the new control board and it's still leaking. So I found that the washing machine had water and it needed to be empty before you reprogram your washer. Uh, if you don't um, empty the water from the washer and you reprogram it, it's still gonna leak. It's gonna confuse the system. So please empty the washer completely uh, make sure there's no water there and then you can do your reprogramming and then after that the washer will work perfectly fine. Thank you so much.